Well, today I'm going to attempt to make a cup. This is a piece of Bradford pear that I cut out in the round on the bandsaw with my jig. Uh, main purpose I want to do this, normally I hollow out the inside, but I've recently picked up a drill chuck and I have yet to use it, so I'm going to use that to hollow out the inside today. But first I need to true it up, put a tenon on the end. So let's get started. Well, after I trued up the bowl, uh, put the tenon on it, I've got my bowl chuck back on here and, and it's in there. I've put my drill chuck on and uh, I've got my largest Forstner bed in here. It's a two and three eighths. First time I've ever tried this, so let's see how it turns out. I'm excited about it. Pretty cool. It went in uh, almost an inch so far, and makes a nice big pile of shavings. Strange to me, used to the drill bit turning and not the wood, but uh, I, I like it so far. So good. I'm gonna take this down as far as I can go with it, and then I'll come back and uh, reshape the outside so you won't have this thick wall. And I think that's gonna be a neat little cut. Bread for pears, real nice wood to work with. Well, that worked out really good. This bowl here is about just right under four inches, and I have went in three inches. As far as I'm going to go with it, that will leave it just uh, almost an inch here at the bottom. And what I'm going to do, I think I got to take this outside down so I don't have such a thick wall. But I think what I'm going to do is just leave that right there, and help uh, stabilize it as I'm finished turning. So let's get back on. Uh, Taking this outside now. Get 
Well, I've got it taken down now to about three eighths of an inch. And side of what I'm going to do is shape it sort of like a barrel, leave it kind of thicker in the middle and taper it toward the ends. And I'm going to take off uh, a little more than a quarter of an inch off the back. And then I'll round that down a little bit. Okay, I like the shape of it so far. Do a little sanding and about done. Well, I've sanded up to 220 on the outside, so now I'm going to work on the inside. What I'm putting on here is my favorite little mixture of half uh, shellac and half denatured alcohol. Get a nice coat rubbed on there. Dries very quickly. hold my uh, paper towel here, moving back and forth, and just it's starting to dry, and I'm, then I'll hold it to where it gets really hot, and it just re really puts that shellac in there. Gives a good little shine. I'll, I'll probably wax it here in a minute anyway, but so far so good. I'm not going to put anything on the inside because I'd have something special planned for that. Do a couple more coats of this. Okay, the shellac is dried very well. Now I'm putting on a little coat of Renaissance wax. Sometimes I use shell of wax, but today I'm going to use this. I got an old fuzzy sock here. We'll buff that out. Cup's all done, ready to take it off the lathe. Uh, since I got that little groove right there, I'm just going to take my little carcass off, saw it off.
very little here. I'll take that with my sander, sand the bottom down real good and put a little finish on it. Sanded the bottom to 220 and I put a couple of coats of my shellac mix on there. And for what I'm going to use this cup for, I'm going to put, have some leftover adhesive felt from an old project. And that's going to go on the bottom. And trim that out. Well, I've got my green felt on the bottom, and I have taped off the top rim. I just put tape across it and wrapped it down, took out, took my X-Acto knife and trimmed out that. And what I'm going to do, uh, my recent project was the shut the box game. And you roll dice on this game, so I've made us a shaker cut. And uh, that's why I didn't do a whole lot of work with the inside. And what I'm fixing to do is put flocking in here. And I got the blue flocking glue. I'm going to coat the inside real well. My purpose today was to try out my new drill chuck for the lathe, and that worked out great. I'll be using that more and more in the future. All your shaker cups have like felt in there. I had that adhesive felt. I didn't have enough to do in here, but it's kind of rigid. Probably need just the cloth felt and glue it in. But I'm going to do this. I think this will work just as well. I do it on bandsaw boxes and a few things like that. And I want to make sure the inside is coated real well. And I believe I have that. Now I can pull this blue tape off. And we'll spot. Okay. Now I've got some of the blue flocking powder in the, the can, the mini flocker, and I am going to just start poofing it in there. stuff does make a mess and go everywhere. Probably should wear a mask so I wouldn't be blowing out blue boogers later. Okay, if you can see down in there, I've got way too much and that's fine. And I'm just going to let it set and dry overnight. I will come back tomorrow, shake out the excess, blow out a little bit more of my air hose and it's done. And then we can use it on our new game board.